Yes guys and welcome back to the Jebo37 YouTube channel where today guys we have got our very first match reaction uh, and it is Brentford against Everton at the Brentford Community Stadium. Now guys I've only just come back in from work so don't be expecting anything special for the reasons why I couldn't attend the game today. I was in work but I've watched the game obviously in the t on the TV in there you know um, so I am giving my first match reaction to this. Um, all around today, we were terrible um, for the whole 19 minutes. Um, Godfrey set it off by, you know, doing a good crunch and tackle in the first couple of minutes since the game kicked off. And you probably thought it set the tone, um, set the tone, set the tempo for the game today. But how deceiving were Everton in terms of how they play today? Um, so moving on into that, we did have Townsend. Um, getting given us a penalty um, away by booting, well it wasn't booting but he high footed on Yeka and caught him in the head blatant penalty all day guys so Ivan Tony slotted it in and Pickford's not even committed to a side to be fair he's just kind of just I think he tried to commit to the opposite way but he's just not dived and you know it is what it is he probably could have tried a bit harder for the penalty save but you know he he didn't, and it's 1-0 to Brentford at this moment, Ivan Tony, you know, being the scorer for them. Um, so we overload the balls in the box today, guys, and that is within the first and the second half. And, Jesus Christ, can we even call Rondon a, number, like, a striker? Because he couldn't do anything. Um, there's probably a penalty shot where we should have had it, where his shirt was getting pulled and lifted and whatever. You know, why didn't we contest for that? I think we are a bit too nice in bits for that as well in terms of penalty shots and stuff like that because if VAR's not giving it a penalty, then, you know, God knows who is because that was an all-day penalty. I feel like he should have probably gone down off that as well and played a bit theatrical, but, you know, it's modern-day football. He's not given a penalty and, it, you know, it's starting to go wrong for us anyway. Um, the second half going into it, Brentford were poor. Um, in terms of that, guys, it's like Brentford were just as poor as we were. But the penalty settled the difference within the game. Now, we lacked agency. We lacked commitment. We lacked desire. We lacked character. We lacked everything that it needs to be to play for Everton Football Club. Now, the best is only good enough for us. The players giving 100% is good enough for us. And you know what, right? So even if we did give 100% and didn't win the game, it's fair enough. But the players are not doing that. Rafa Benitez today, he was out of order. His tactics were wrong. Um, everything about the setup in today's game was wrong. And I feel like that was that. Sticking his middle finger up to both Lewis Dobbin and Ellis Sims and saying, do you know what, guys? Yous are not needed today. They may as well just should have had the sleeping bags, guys, and, you know, had the pillows out and probably should have just slept the game away because we all knew that Rafa Benitez at this time and moment is not giving you for chance and playing two minutes on a pitch against Manchester United is not giving you for chance. And I don't even think it was two minutes. It probably could have been, but I wasn't too sure. So... Into the um, terms of today's game, it now means we are in a relegation battle going into the um, Merseyside Derby at Anfield. And I am not looking forward to doing a match day vlog on that, guys. I just don't, I don't really, I'm not up for it. I'm not like, as much as I wasn't up for today's game, obviously Richarlison being out, Calvert Lewin still being out, etc. etc. I, was, I wasn't even looking forward to today's game, and I did have a feeling we were going to get beat. And beat didn't we just happen to us, you know. It is what it is in terms of that. But why can't the players give character, like show character, give the commitments, have hunger, have desire to want to play for the badge and play for Everton Football Club? As much as Coleman's committed to that, he's probably lost his legs, guys. Alex Awobi as well, you know, he's not even the quickest of players, but he's still shockingly slow. In terms of Premier League. So what these players do in staying. I don't know. I feel like the fitness should be worked on. Of every single player. Within the team. And that's including obviously. A Wobie Coleman. And the rest of the guys. I feel like. The, the, the problem is. Is as well as we're playing bad football. And playing bad results. I feel like other teams are fitter than us. Um, mentally stronger than us as well. Which. For the Premier League football club. Like us not being. As fit as other teams and 
not wanting it as much as other teams. We deserve to be in that relegation battle that we are in. Um, so firstly, I just want to say congratulations to Brentford for the win today. Um, you, you did deserve it over us, even though you just were poor in the second half. You know, how can I put it? We didn't justify ourselves to even get a win. We overloaded the balls in the box. Nobody was there most of the time. And even when Rondon was there, he was completely useless. So, it, we've got no firepower going forward. Um, so at this time and moment, no firepower going forward. We're just going to be getting beat in games where, you know, there's only so much the defence can do. There's only so much that obviously Pickford can do as well. So yeah, guys, this is my reaction. Let me know what you think. Who should start on Wednesday in the Merseyside derby? Should Rafa Benitez just go fuck it, give you for chance? We've got nothing to lose. Start Dob and start Sims. See what happens or. Should he just keep starting Rondon with hopes of, you know, something happens? But obviously we'll have Richarlison back for that game as well, so it's something to look forward to. And yeah, guys, just make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and be prepared for the match day vlog on Wednesday. Obviously it won't be out on Wednesday, I think it's going to be out on the Friday after the derby. So it'll be out within two days after the derby. So yeah, make sure, just watch out for other content, guys. And if you want me to do more match reactions and if you want me to start doing match previews, let me know and I can probably get that sorted for you guys as well. But until next time, keep safe and yeah guys, just see you on another video. One thing I probably forgot to mention as well is, do you guys want to see Rafa Benitez out, especially after one transfer window? And who would you like to see be brought into the club and who wouldn't you be? Um, I am planning on doing an Everton talk soon with one of the guys you might be familiar with, but I'll keep that a secret for now. You know, you guys love the person who's, who I'm talking about, so if there's anything you want to suggest and anything that I can bring up when doing this Everton talk, please feel free to let me know. But yeah, guys, take it easy and see you guys on another video.